In 1901, Greek sponge divers made an extraordinary discovery near the island of Antikythera, a mysterious mechanical device that would completely transform our understanding of ancient technology. Dating back to around 100 BCE, the Antikythera mechanism is now recognized as the world's oldest known analog computer designed to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. With at least 30 precisely crafted bronze gears housed in a wooden case the size of a shoebox, the device's complexity stunned archaeologists who had previously underestimated ancient Greek engineering capabilities. The technological sophistication of the mechanism suggests it was likely created by a master craftsman in Rhodes, perhaps building upon the astronomical theories of Hipparchus or within the school of the renowned astronomer Posidonius. It wasn't until the advent of modern X-ray technology in the 1970s and advanced CT scanning in the early 2000s that researchers could truly begin to understand the full complexity hidden within the corroded fragments. The front dial tracked the position of the sun and moon through the zodiac while also following the Egyptian calendar of 365 days, automatically accounting for leap years in its calculations. Even more impressive were the back dials, which calculated the metonic cycle, aligning lunar and solar years, and predicted solar and lunar eclipses through the sorrow cycle with remarkable accuracy. Most revolutionary was the discovery of a sophisticated differential gear system, a technology previously believed to have been invented in the 16th century, yet here was evidence it existed over 1,500 years earlier. Today, the Antikythera mechanism stands as testament to the ingenuity of ancient Greek astronomers and engineers, forcing historians to fundamentally reconsider the technological capabilities of ancient civilizations. This single discovery has shattered our preconceptions about ancient knowledge, revealing that the Greeks had achieved a level of mechanical sophistication that wouldn't be seen again until the scientific revolution, some 1,500 years later.